Hello everyone, it's great to have you on our channel. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into designing a web landing page in black and white. Professional product designer and Figma. We're going to keep things minimalistic, but detailed. This tutorial will focus on some key design principles and rules that will help you create a beautiful and effective landing page. As a bonus, we will create a small prototype and teach you how to use the prototype settings in Figma. So let's get started and start designing. Okay, let's get started with this project. First, what you want to do is you want to import the starter pack files we have provided in the description. So make sure to copy them and paste them into your Figma file. I'm just going to paste them right here. We just have uh, logos here. It's the same logo in different size. And you'll see the the use cases that we're going to have it for, for the logo. We're going to be using Seagull UI and a black and white image here. This is from Unsplash, by the way. You can uh, find a lot of free images on Unsplash. We have uh, only three colors here and we have some icons right here. So let's uh, start designing. Let's grab a frame, a desktop. Let's name this file. So this is a portfolio landing page. And let's give this a name as well landing page there we go first let's start off by just giving this a black uh, background totally black and before we jump jump right in into designing let's set up our two layout grids so let's oops let's set up the first one so 12 columns uh, a margin of 64 and a gather of 24 that's the first grid and the second grid are going to be rows 16 with a margin of 64 and a gather of 16 there we go okay uh, we can start working right now so the first thing what i want to do is i want to bring this image right into the design so i'm just going to copy it and let's just paste it let's position this image properly so just drag it make sure to drag your image to the end of the column so should be just right like this by the way i'm using control scroll on my mouse to zoom out and zoom in to my file so you can use that to quickly navigate through your designs okay uh we have the image set in and let's design the landing page uh headline uh description button now let's start doing that so let's uh, write up the the heading here the header so marco bali product designer this is a fictional product designer and let's change the font family to seagull ui oops seagull ui there we go and we want to have a font size of 68 and want it to be auto as well there we go Let's position this on the grid. So we have uh, two grids for this purpose, and we're going to position this uh, exactly here. So it's fine. This should work just fine. Okay, so let's uh, write up the description below this. So the creative product designer. Let's scale this to 16 pixels. So creative product designer mainly working on visual identities web and mobile let's give it another row apps stationary and social media designs perfect let's position this 20 pixels below the heading and let's give this text some color so we're going to be using c6 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 as our font color for our body text and that's looking good now we can actually jump right in with designing the button so for that purpose we're going to be needing this arrow here and let's just put it uh, right here I want to give this the same body color body text color so c6 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 it will look very good on it now let's write up the text of the button so get in touch 
and we want this to be semi light. Let's position this both. Let's align them. And let's give them a spacing of uh, six pixels. Yeah, let's go with six. Let's group them. Um, let's now create a frame around this button. And uh, you can hold Shift A to add auto layout. And let's uh, give uh, 20 pixel spacing from the left and 16 from the top. Uh, let's see here. Let's try 12. Yeah, let's go with 12 from the top and bottom and 20 from left and right. That's looking good. Let's try 16 here. Yeah, let's go with 16. This, this is looking much, much better. Okay, now you can copy the same uh, color here that we applied to the text. And you can create a stroke here and apply it as well. The stroke and give the stroke uh, 0.5. Point 0.5 width for the stroke and let's give it a corner radius of 2 okay we can disable the grid holding ctrl shift 4 it will disable both grids let's check what we have so okay this is looking good let's enable the grid ctrl shift 4 again and let's position this button 32 pixels below the text so how how i'm able to move this button is by holding alt shift and using my arrow keys on my keyboard to move it in any direction i like so we can move it left right top and bottom you can search it up on uh, youtube or in google it's called a nudge so you can actually configure it on how much you want it to move so personally i like it at 10 so it's fine by my my side okay we're also going to have a little bit of uh, text with a background here so it's going to be saying 10 years of experience so plus 10 years it should be uppercase experience and this should be in 14 pixels auto let's disable the grid control shift 4 now let's give this some auto layout so control uh sorry shift a let's give it uh six pixels top and bottom and four pixels left and right maybe yeah let's go with this one this should be good let's give it a fill here i want something okay we actually have a color for this we can choose this one so you, if you see from a distance these two look like exactly the same color but this is pure black so zero 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 and this is just the, like it's black but it has a sh tiny tint so when i apply it you can see that it's not totally black but the, the only way you should notice it is like when you apply it to a darker color than it or a whiter so let's uh, position this eight pixels above the heading okay perfect let's see what we have here okay looking good okay let's grab the logo we should grab the first one so just copy this one and just apply it let's position this perfectly on both grids so it should have 64 pixels left and right there we go and now we're going to be adding the menu so let's grab we actually don't have a menu icon but that's not a problem we can find one very easily let's go to we can use iconify so this is uh, pretty much a library where you can search anything you like uh, any icon it has tons of icons from uh, from a lot of uh, design systems and uh, icon libraries so i'm just gonna write menu here uh let's see what we have here uh let's see something that we can use I'm gonna go with this one let's apply okay let's try 16 pixels so and i'm just gonna edit this icon real quick so i'm just gonna edit the edges i'm just holding control and shift to select all of the edges here i want them to be a little bit around it 
and I'm gonna add 0.2. Don't add huge numbers here because this is in a very small size. So there we go. That's how you edit icons as well. And this is actually not in the frame, so let's just copy it, select our frame, and paste it. There we go. You can select the image and lock it so we don't actually accidentally interact with it. And let's add the text here. So menu should be line to center and it should be 14 pixels. Let's add the C6, C6, C6 here. And let's align them to the middle and let's give them a spacing of six. Let's group them and position them on our grid. There we go. Looking good. Let's disable the grid and see what we have. Control Shift 4. There we go. We have a very simple landing page. Okay, let's uh, continue and uh, create a prototype for this. Let's copy this page. So I'll hold Alt Shift. Copy it one more time. Uh, let's position it below this. And this is going to be landing page. Hover button. And this is going to be landing page menu. So let's give them proper namings. And uh, let's see now. Okay, let's uh, prototype the button. So what we want to happen here is when the user hovers on the get in touch, this should become white. So let's do it. Very simple to design to create this prototype. So what we're gonna do is like let's select these both items and give them a dark color. Let's select the whole button. Let's remove the stroke and let's just add a fill. There we go. That easy. And now let's create uh, this menu that will be sliding up from the top to the bottom, and it's going to be it's going to be the full size of the web uh, of the web landing page. So uh, let's apply the same sizes to a frame. Let's create just a simple frame. Click F and apply the same sizes. 1440 width and 1024 height and this should be black as well and uh, let's position this inside this frame align it but before oh yeah we can just align it <clears throat> let's activate the grids control shift 4 and you can use uh, you can hold control to select the frame here so when you hold control, uh, you will have priority with your mouse on what you're hovering. So the only thing we're hovering right now is the frame. And it's uh, at the top of our landing page frame. And now let's uh, grab the logo here. Let's copy it. Hold control and paste it into your frame. Let's align it on a red here. There we go. Now we can design the menu options, I believe. Uh, let's uh, write here home, line it to the middle, and let's add 32 pixels of uh, size. Let's uh, copy this down, about, and capitalize. Make sure to be uppercase, work, and contact. Let's hold Control Shift to select all of them, align them to the middle, and distribute uh, vertical spacing. And let's add uh, 32 pixels here. No, try 64 actually. Yeah, let's go with 64. Let's add some more distance between them. And now you can group them. You can name this uh, name this logo. You can name this navigation links, nav links. It's fine. And the only thing that we're missing here is the close here to close the menu and the Marco Bali all rights reserved with the copyright sign at the bottom. So let's just grab the copyright sign here. Copy this. It's a, it's in text format. So let's write here Marco Bali all rights reserved. Let's give it a c6 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 color so i have a typo here let's align it to the middle and position it on our grid and there we go 
So 14 pixels. And what we want to do now is we want to position, uh, select the logo, sorry. Select your nav links and your text at the bottom. Align this to the middle and distribute vertical spacing. So it, it will put the nav links uh, at the exact uh, distance, equal distance between the logo and the text at the bottom. So we'll have a very aesthetic feel. Now what we want to do is we want to copy this menu and we can reuse this uh, component here. So hold control to uh, select your frame here and just uh, control V after you copy it and paste it. And Figma is very smart so it will position the elements at the same place where you actually copied them. So it's very, very useful. Let's grab the X here. We're going to be needing an X. And paste replace. Oops. Actually, this X is a little bit too big. So let's scale it to 16 and select uh, these two lines by holding Control Shift. And uh, let's 1.5. It should be enough width. And let's get a white color and paste to replace there we go now you can select this menu text align it to the right and right close and let's give this close okay it already has a, the same body color let's disable the grid this is looking good this is fine and let's just connect the prototype so you can go to prototype Select your first frame that we have designed and add a flow starting point. Let's give this landing page prototype. Let's just name it. And what we're going to do is we want to go to this button. And you can see there's a point here. Prototype point and just point it at the next frame from your button. And it should be on hover. So that's the type of uh, interaction that we want to have. So want while hovering and want the animation to be smart animate. Okay, and let's now design the prototype for the menu. So select your menu and point it at uh, your second prototype frame. Actually third, and we want this to be on click. And when the user clicks on it, we want it to move in. And let's uh, make sure to select this smart animate matching layers. So what this does, it will have a smooth animation and it will match the layers so it will be much smoother and we want this to move from the top so you can see you have this arrows here and we want our frame so the only frame that's new here is this overlay with the navigation and we want to move it from the top to bottom and we want to also have a pr prototype on how it closes so let's select this component and aim it at the first prototype and what we want here is for it to move out and we want it to move out from from bottom to top there we go now let's play this and let's see what we've designed actually we can also give this prototype some slightly lighter black here so we can see the page there we go. Let's uh, zoom in. Let's hover on the button. There we go. We have a nice animation on the button. And let's uh, try the menu here. So let's click on it. There we go. We have a working menu prototype. And a very nice hover on the button. Okay, guys. That's pretty much for this video tutorial. Hopefully you learned something new. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye guys.